predators give us a dramatic health check on our planet's wild places. 猎食者的生存状态是我们检验地球野外生存环境的一面镜子。They are the top of the food chain. 他们位于生物食物链的顶端。And need an abundance of prey and vast territories for hunting. 需要有广袤的土地去猎食大量的猎物。But as the human population grows, 但随着人口的增长 ，the conflict between people and wildlife is on the rise. 人类与野生动物的争的行为也随之增长。Over 75% of the world's top predators are now declining. 如今。超过百分之七十五的顶尖猎食者种类的数量都在下降。Humans have created this crisis. 是人类制造了这样的物种生存危机。But we also have the power to resolve it. 但我们同样有能力缓解并解决这问题。We meet the pioneers at the front line. 让我们来认识一下这些奋斗在第一线。Searching for bold solutions. 寻求解决方案的业界领军人物。The question is whether we are prepared to allow room. 主要问题是，我们是否允许把生存的余地 ，for the natural world's greatest hunters， 让给这些自然界中伟大的猎手们。The world's forests cover a third of its land surface。全世界森林覆盖面积超过地球陆地面积的三分之一。And contain over 50% of our wildlife。这些森林孕育的野生动物数量超过百分之五十。In the jungles of India, the top predator is the tiger。在印度热带丛林中。位于食物链顶端的猎食者，老虎。Once on the point of extinction， 它们的数量一直在减少。Its numbers are now steadily rising here。如今，它们的数量有所增长。For the first time in over 50 years， 是近五十年来的首次出现反转。India is also home to 1.2 billion people。印度有十二亿人口。And the fastest growing economy on the planet， 是世上经济发展最快的国家。So。How is the tiger making a comeback? 印度是如何让老虎数量实现增长的呢 ？Tigers are the largest of all big cats. 老虎是所有猫科动物中体型最大的。They need a territory of up to 60 square miles. 它们的活动范围可达60平方英里。一百五十五点四平方公里。And must make a kill every week to survive. 每周至少捕食一次才能维持生存。He's so perfectly camouflaged. 他们是善于隐蔽的高手。A deer could just come close to him without knowing the tiger's there. 猎物会不知觉地靠近老虎潜伏的地方。And he just go for it. 当足够近时，饿虎擒羊。Dr. Ellis Caranth from the Wildlife Conservation Society. WCS 国际野生生物保护学会的 Oz Caranth 博士 is the world's leading expert on tigers. 是世界首屈一指的老虎专家 Watching a tiger hunt is a dream. It's just spectacular. 观察老虎捕食就像是在梦剧场中看一场戏 You realize what a perfectly designed killing machine this animal is. 你能感受到老虎就是一个天生的能够完美演绎杀戮的艺术家。500 years ago, there were over 300,000 tigers in India. 500年前，史料记载印度还有超过三十万头老虎。But in the last century, their numbers fell to just 2,000. 但据上世纪末的统计。他们的数量已经锐减至两千只左右。Due to a combination of poaching and the loss of half of their forest， 造成这种状况的原因。是老虎赖以生存的森林面积减少过半，以及被大量捕猎。In the late 1970s， 在上世纪七十年代晚期 ，tigers were almost on the verge of extinction in India。印度的老虎一度濒临灭绝。But strong measures by the Indian government to create protected areas， 印度政府开始建立保护区。以及制定保护法等措施 ，and a strong law enforcement effort led to a major recovery， 使得老虎数量恢复增长。Better than anything else the world has seen， 这些努力是有目共睹的。As a result， tigers have come back big time in many places。在很多地区。老虎又重新现身。There are now around 2,500 tigers in India. 如今，在印度的老虎已有近 2,500 只。And their numbers are steadily rising. 数量仍在稳定增长中。The problem now is not so much a shortage of tigers. 如今的问题不再是缺老虎。It's a lack of space for them. 而是缺他们的生存空间。India's human population has doubled in the last 30 years. 近30年来。
。印度的人口已翻一番。With so many people living in national parks， 大量的人口仍生活在保护区周边。Conflict is inevitable， 与之争的就不可避免了。These enclaves make a living out of raising crops。Raising livestock. 这些地方的人们生存离不开种植谷物和饲养家畜 ，and they're competing for space and food with tigers directly. 直接与老虎产生空间和食物的争端。So this forces a conflict on them. 斗争对于他们双方而言 ，and eventually the tigers lose out and people lose out. 不是你死就是我亡。The government has come up with a radical solution. 印度政府出台了一个基本的解决方案 ，paying villagers. To move out of their homes to make way for tigers, 即经济援助村民离开村庄，给老虎让的。Relocating local people out of the forest is a highly emotive issue. 让住在森林周边的村民迁离是一个争议很大的议题。India has been strongly criticized in the past. 在过去。印度当局执行这类大规模迁移的活动，一直饱受各界批评。It is extremely controversial. 这事情非常有争议。Because in some places, it's been done badly. 因为在一些地方做得很糟糕。Where people who have moved out were forcibly moved out. 那儿的人是被武力逼迁。But in many other places. It's been done right. 但在一些地方又做得比较好。Alay's daughter Krithi also works for the Wildlife Conservation Society. Alas, 博士的女儿 Krithi 同为 WCS 的工作人员。Her job is to manage their village relocations. 她的工作是督导村民们搬迁 and make sure they're done responsibly. 帮他们解决过程中的困难。Krithi speaks Indian. Mani and his wife Jyothi. Mani and Jyothi have volunteered to leave the forest in return for compensation. 是自愿搬离村庄以换取补偿金。Translation: 我家族住在这儿好几代了。我父辈、祖辈，一旦我们搬走，不再回来，这很是让我伤感。我只是希望让家人过上富足生活。They feel very strong ties to this place. 他们与这个村子有着非常强的牵绊。Even though they have a very difficult life here. 尽管在这里过得很艰苦。And constantly living in fear of elephants, leopards, and tigers. 而且还有与大象、豹子和老虎共存的危险。When you have little children, those challenges are even greater. 当有了孩子之后。这些危险变得越发凸显。Money and Jyothi are leaving their old way of life behind. Money 和 Jyothi 决定离开村庄。India is changing very rapidly, and you have to sometimes make 印度的发展变化非常快速。Really hard choices, and sometimes that involves moving people. 能够做出离开家乡的决定是非常困难的。And I'm very proud of the way we've done it right. 能够帮助他们顺利搬离 ，helping them through every step of the way， 使我对目前工作更有信心。But not everyone is happy about being moved out. 但并不是所有人都愿意离开。He speaks Indian. 他们是给钱，但这钱又能维持我们多久？我们就是死也不会离开。在这里，我们有电、太阳能和燃气，还能自己种菜。It's the fear of the outside and unknown that is keeping them here. 对外面世界的无知与害怕使他们选择留守。Once that fear is broken, 一旦这种心理因素能被释放 ，and they know they are better off, everybody wants out. 他们就知道最好的选择还是离开。Money and Jyothi are the latest of 631 families. Mani and Jyothi 是搬离 Nagarhole 国家公园的。To leave Nagarhole National Park. 631户原住民中最新的一员。In total, almost 30,000 people across India have been relocated. 全印度大约有三万人已获得重新安置。As humans move out of the forest, tigers move in. 人力虎入。A very strong proof that relocation works is to look at. 老虎数量实现增长是。Some of the tiger reserves where it's been done well. 劝服森林周边人口搬迁的政策行之有效的强有力证明。People have moved out. Prey numbers have multiplied. 人离开后，猎物数量大量增加。And in many cases, the tiger numbers have doubled or tripled. 在很多地方。老虎的数量成倍增长。There are many, many such cases in India. 在印度
还有许许多多类似的搬离行动。Money and j o t h y are coming to live in a newly built relocation center. Money and j o t h y 将要搬进一处新近建成的安置区。Here, they will have to find jobs and fend for themselves. 在这里。他们将会找到工作并养活家人。Each adult receives the equivalent of 一万英镑。每个成年的自愿搬迁者都可获得大约一万英镑的补助金。A huge sum in India。在印度，这是一笔很大的数目。This is paid part cash and part in the form of a new house。包含有一部分现金和一栋新屋。And three acres of land。还有三英亩的土地。Translation。There is a widespread view that forest-dwelling people 住在森林周边的人有一种普遍的观点 ，should live in remote locations， 即住在偏远的地区 ，cut off from all signs of civilization， 食草果腹，远离现代文明 ，eating fruit and nuts， and that's far removed from reality， 是脱离时代发展的一种象征。What these people want is good education， 人们需要良好的教育 ，modern amenities and health， 福利。和健康 ，and all of that is not available in the remote jungle。住在偏远的丛林边上是不能够获得这些的。People want to live in cities。人们都想要住在城镇中。And you're going to see this huge transition。你们将会看到有大规模的迁移活动。Where India is going from 70% of the country being rural。印度将会在接下来的二十年内 ，to 50% of the country being urban in the next twenty years。有百分之七十的乡村人。口变为百分之五十城镇人口 ，and this is going to open up land。这会释放出很多土地 ，and once you move people out， the vegetation comes back。一旦人离开那方土地，植物会疯长 ，the prey numbers rebound and then tiger numbers come back。猎物们也会回归，同时老虎的数量就会增长。So Ecological recovery takes time. 生态的恢复需要时间。But I think nature knows how to heal itself. 自然界有其自愈之道。Relocation may be an extreme solution. 让原住民搬离可能是一种过激的解决方案。But India's tigers are proof that given enough space. 但印度虎数量的增长。证明只要有足够的空间 ，predators can bounce back。猎食者们能够重整旗鼓。The greatest tropical forest on earth is the Amazon。亚马逊是地球上最大的热带雨林。It covers almost half of South America。它覆盖了几乎半个南美洲。And is home to more species than anywhere else on the planet。是很多物种在地球上唯一的家园。In the jungles of Venezuela, the canopy's deadliest hunter。在委内瑞拉的丛林中。树冠下站着一位致命猎手 ，the harpy eagle， 美洲角雕。This is the most powerful bird of prey in the world。它是世上体型最大及最强壮的食肉性鸟类。It has a two-meter wingspan， 拥有长达两米的翼展，攻击时悄无声息。And it hunts silently on the lookout for monkeys and sloths， 吸食猴子和树懒。Harpy eagle screeches。The harpy eagle's territory stretches over 30 square miles. 美洲角雕的捕食范围可达三十平方英里 At the heart of it, the nest with a very hungry chick. 它们捕食范围的中心是抚育嗷嗷待哺的幼鸟的巢 At two months old, the chick is vulnerable. 两个月大时。幼鸟还相当脆弱 ，and is fiercely guarded by her mother， 由她凶猛的母亲守护着。雌鸟显著大于雄鸟。Down below on the forest floor， 在树下 ，others are also keeping a close watch。同样有人在关注着他们。Doctor Alexander Blanco monitors twenty different pairs of harpy eagles。Alexander Blanco 博士同时监控着二十组不同的角雕家庭 ，trying to police this area of forest， 监督管理着森林的这片区域 ，and keep the nest sites safe from human encroachment， 同时保护这片区域远离人类的侵占。Throughout the Harpy Eagles range across Central and South America， 从中美洲到南美洲。都是角雕的活动范围。An area of forest the size of Switzerland， 每年都会有类似瑞士国土面积那么大的森林 ，is being cut down every year， 被砍伐掉。Chainsaws buzz. Alexander is studying the impacts of this loss on the harpy eagle. Alexander 要想了解森林减少对角雕有多大影响 ，and to do that he must first get himself， 他就必须攀爬上。三十五 meters up to the nest in the canopy， 位于三十五米高树冠下的鸟巢。Harpy eagle chirps. 
when the chick reaches six months old, before she fledges. 当美洲角雕幼鸟六个月大，即将学会飞行时 ，Alexander must climb up and bring her down. Alexander 必须上去把她给带下来。He'll then fit a small radio transmitter on the chick. 他要给幼鸟安装一个信号发射器 ，so he can keep track of her after she's left the nest. 使她可在幼鸟长大离巢后。继续追查他的踪迹。The mother eagle could attack. 凶狠的母角雕有可能会发起攻击。So Alexander is wearing a stab-proof vest. 所以 Alexander 穿上了防刺背心。It's dangerous work. 这是一项危险的工作。But it's driven by a lifelong passion for the harpy eagle. 对角雕无比的热爱使他不顾危险、紧张、心跳加速、压力山大。因为我们面对的可是世上力量最强的鹰。As soon as he reaches the nest, Alexander 抵达鸟巢。Alexander must secure the harpy eagle's deadliest weapons. 他必须时刻防范着角雕致命的武器。Its talons. 它的利爪。Harpy eagle screeches. 我们最担心的就是它的长爪。它的利爪可长达十二公分，比雄爪还要长。Today. The female is keeping her distance. 今天，母角雕保持着一定的距离。But Alexander has been attacked several times. Alexander 耐心等待捕捉机会。Okay, but as Alexander starts his descent, 但当 Alexander 开始下降时 ，He realizes there's a problem with his ropes. 他的牵引绳出现了问题。Del thud, Alexander screams. Ambulance siren. Amazingly. Both Alexander and the eagle survive the fall. 很幸运 ，Alexander 和美洲角雕性命无忧。But Alexander breaks both his wrist and his leg. 但 Alexander 摔伤了手腕和腿，好痛啊！骨头摔断了。从树上摔下来的那一刻，我脑中想的都是幼雕的安危。Alexander's assistant Don Bloss. Don Bloss 是 Alexander 的助手。Brings the young eagle back to camp. To keep an eye on her, he took the eagle back to the nest to take care of it. I did a test. No injuries. It is very healthy. The nose is very good. Don Bloss attaches the radio as planned. Don Bloss put it on the radio as planned. Very little is known about these eagles. In the eagle群体中，只有很少可被观察。So this transmitter will help the scientists understand. 这台发射机可帮助科学家们观测 how they survive in a disappearing forest. 角雕是如何在日渐消失的森林中生存的 Finally, the team returned the young eagle to its nest. 最终。在角雕父母娇妻的关注下 ，Under the watchful eye of her anxious parents， 他们把他们的孩子放回了鸟巢。The adult eagles waste no time bringing in more prey。角雕父母立即马不停蹄地给幼雕带回食物。And life at the nest returns to normal。他们的生活又归于平淡。The harpy eagle is now 18 months old。如今。这只角雕已经十八月龄。Alexander is returning to study her progress. Alexander, 自上回摔伤后 ，for the first time since his fall， 回归并继续他的事业，能够重回这里，继续我的事业，我心情无比激动。The transmitter on the eagle sends out a radio signal， 在角雕身上的发射机不断的传回信号 ，and the scientists can now track her through the forest， 使科学家们知道她已开始学习捕猎。As she learns to hunt. 活动区域覆盖整个森林。Tracking apparatus beeps. She can now recognize her prey. 如今她能够识别猎物。But she doesn't expect it to fight back. 但她还是不希望她的猎物能还手。But Alexander's studies show the monkeys and sloths. Alexander 的观测表明 ，that form the eagle's main prey， 美洲角雕主要的猎物猴子和树懒 ，are disappearing as the forest is cleared， 数量随着森林面积的减少而下降着。In the face of this crisis， 面临这种情况下 ，the harpy eagle has proved to be remarkably resourceful。美洲角雕展现出聪明才智。The eagles are starting to hunt ground-dwelling prey。他们开始在很多区域 ，in more broken areas， 猎食陆生猎。猎物，美洲角雕已能够适应人们在森林中的砍伐活动，但随着森林碎片化越发严重。
，角雕的数量还是会下降。There are now less than fifty thousand harpy eagles left. 如今每周角雕数量已不足五万只。At the current rate of deforestation. 随着林木不断被砍伐 ，their numbers will drop by a third in the next fifty years. 它们的数量在接下来的五十年内。将会再降三分之一。The only hope is that Alexander's data. 唯一的希望是 Alexander 的观测数据 will persuade governments to protect their habitat. 能够说服政府去保护美洲角雕的栖息地。Even if he has to risk his life in the process. 面临再大的苦难。在所不辞。Nearly half of the world's land surface, 地球陆地表面 is covered by grasslands and deserts. 近半都是被草地和沙地所覆盖。And none are richer than the plains of Africa. 在非洲，这种情况尤其凸显。This vast savanna is home. 非洲大草原 to some of the most celebrated predators on the planet. 是地球上一些闻名于世的猎食者的家园。And the most celebrated of them all is the lion. 其中最知名的是。狮子。The Ngorongoro Crater in Tanzania， 位于坦桑尼亚北部的恩戈罗恩戈罗火山口 ，has the highest density of lions on Earth， 是地球上狮群密度最高的区域。There are four prides of lions here， 这儿的狮子四大家族 ，and they're engaged in a constant war with their human neighbors， 时常与他们的人类邻居。马赛人 ，the Maasai people， 发生冲突。the Maasai rely on their cattle for survival。马赛人养牛为生。when the lions attack their livestock， 当狮子来袭击他们养的家畜时 ，the Maasai retaliate by killing them。马赛人会毫不留情地杀死对方。this is an ancient conflict between warrior and predator， 勇士与猎食者间的战斗。that's been played out for millennia， 上千年来不断重复上演着。the human population here has near。Tripled in the last 20 years. 这儿的人口数量在近二十年来已翻了三番。And the conflict has now reached crisis point. 对狮子而言，情势已到危急关头。Craig Packer is the world's top lion expert. Craig Packer 是世上顶尖的狮子专家。He and assistant Angela Jansen. 他和助手 Angela Jansen. Are trying to stop the Maasai from killing lions. 正在试着阻止马赛人夺取狮子的生命 ，and allow them to breed in peace. 使之与狮群和平相处。Those animals have to run the gauntlet of Maasai with spears. 狮子们在马赛人的长矛挥舞下，只能落荒而逃。And so. With that kind of armed guard all the way around the crater, 这类的武装护卫队在恩戈罗恩戈罗火山口到处都是。It's very difficult for the males to be able to come into the crater. 无论是哪儿来的雄性、人或动物 ，from somewhere else to rejuvenate this population， 想要进入火山口。那可真是困难重重。Time is running out for the lions of Ngorongoro. 恩戈罗恩戈罗火山口的狮群已时日无多。Craig has roughly 100 of them. Craig 估计他们已不足一百只。And the Maasai are killing an average of 10 a year. 而且马赛人平均每年还会干掉十只狮子。The one with the scar, MG103. 那只带疤的狮子，编号 MG103. She had cubs in May, and two of hers were lost. 她在五月份产下幼崽，其中两只已死。And I didn't even see what sex they were. 我甚至还不知道它们的性别。Whenever one of our steady lines is speared, 天知道狮子还剩多少。It's like right. That's just one more nail in the coffin. 杀狮貌似正确。但对狮群而言，无疑是丧钟敲响。It's like one more example of why something must be done. 这是我们必须设法解决的。To address this problem, 难题之一。The only way to solve the conflict here, 缓解冲突的唯一方法就是 is by brokering peace between these two ancient enemies. 在这对世仇间创造和平共处。Angela and Craig have employed a team of Maasai scouts. Angela and Craig 雇佣了一对马赛人 from within the community 用作护卫狮群安全。Their job is to document lion attacks. 他们的工作是记录狮子来袭 and try and stop people from retaliating. 以及试着防止人们对它进行报复。So I'm asking them, do you like lions? 我问他们，你们喜欢狮子吗 ？And yeah, there was some murmuring yes, but then she said, 当然，你能听到他们嘟哝，是的。但他又会说 ，No, I don't like lions because a lion attacked her son last year. 不，我不喜欢狮子。
因为去年有只狮子攻击他的儿子。She speaks Maasai dialect. Oh, he's like twenty-two years old. 他当时才二十二岁。He went then to defend their livestock. 当时他在保护他的家畜。And then he got into a close fight with a lion. 然后不得不与狮子近身搏斗。After four years of Angela's incredible dedication, 四年来 Angela 的工作进展缓慢。To slowly. Gradually build trust with people. 在与马赛人交谈中 ，people are very much are more likely to tell her what's happened. 他们更愿意倾诉被狮子袭击的相关遭遇。They might even have speared a lion in retaliation. 他们都恨不得杀死狮子以报仇雪恨。So she can get a better picture of what really happens here. 她对改变现状有所期待。And therefore. How best to improve circumstances? 那什么才是最好的解决方案呢 ？Translation: 狮子杀死任何一头家畜，对我们而言都是重大的损失。在一次狮子的袭击中，我失去了一头公牛、一头母牛和它的小牛们。Craig, Angela, and their scouts have their work cut out. Craig, Angela, 和他们的马赛守卫队暂停了在这边的行动。The war between people and lions has been waged here. 这里人们与狮子间的战争 for over two million years 已持续二百万年之久。And there is one deadly tradition. 这是一个死结 that's still widely practiced today. 如今的人们普遍认为 the ritual killing of lions 杀死狮子是在正常不过的事情。The team are traveling to a remote set. Craig and Angela 正在拜访 on the edge of the Serengeti, 位于 Serengeti 边缘的部落 Maasai Singh. This is the front line in the conflict with lions. 这里是与狮子争的的前线 We've come out here today to attend a Maasai wedding. 我们今天来此参加一场马赛人的婚礼 In an area that's had a lot of ritual lion killing. 近十年来。这里一直有 over the last decade 杀狮的传统。One of the things that Angela has learned in her research, Angela 发现马赛人在举行婚礼之类的盛典时 ，is that these hunting parties often assemble at an event like this. 伴随之的是捕猎派对。So as you can see, 所以。如同你所见 ，Everybody's getting worked up in that level of excitement. 每个人都如此兴奋，跃跃欲试。It's like they've got all this energy and all that testosterone ready to go. 又唱又跳，仿佛身上充满无尽的能量。And one of the things they really get excited about doing is going to hunt a lion. 他们如此兴奋。是因为将要去捕猎一只狮子。Angela is hoping that the presence of her scouts. Angela 希望他的守卫队能够出现 ，maybe enough to deter the warriors from hunting lions， 才有可能阻止这群部落勇士去猎杀狮子。They know these guys, their friends, their relatives。他们之间是朋友，是亲属。And everyone knows here that they work for lion conservation。部落的人知道守卫队在为狮子保护组织工作。So they kind of know that they can't go hunting if that person is present。所以当他们出现时。部落勇士们就不会去猎杀狮子。Angela's head scout, Royman, comes from this area. 来自这地区的 Royman 是 Angela 守卫队的队长。He killed two lions by himself in ritual hunts when he was younger. 在他年轻的时候。曾亲手杀死两只狮子。And has the respect of his fellow warriors. 跟随他的战士们都非常尊敬他。Royman speaks Maasai dialect. 我在守卫队做的还不错。我能知道这帮人在说些什么，想些什么。我会直接跟他们领头的家伙谈，劝服他们放弃捕杀狮子的活动。Today, no、one is going hunting and the lions in this area are safe. 今天，没人会去猎杀狮子。他们在这地方很安全。But it could take decades to solve the conflict. 但彻底解决人与狮的纷争得花数十年的时间。So Craig is proposing a highly controversial solution. 所以 Craig 提出了一个备受争议的方案。Putting up fences to keep people and predators apart. 建起围栏，把人与兽分隔开。Our romantic visions of Africa's unspoiled wilderness. 这是我们对非洲。这片未完全开发的处女地的美好愿景，但已无可能实现。The human population now is already one billion people. 现今非洲的人口已达十亿。It's expected to quadruple by the end of this century. 这个数字预计在本世纪末会翻四倍。So 
It's time to consider erecting fences between people and wildlife. 所以是时候考虑在人与野生动物间设立围栏。It's time to rethink the basic need. 是时候反思与实施。For the safety of the people around these parks. 能够满足人与动物。And the safety of the animals themselves. 彼此基本安全的方法。Craig is calling for fortress conservation. Craig 呼吁建立带电的围栏。Protecting vast areas with hundreds of miles of electric fencing， 以保护成百上千英里范围内的野生动植物。In South Africa， 在南非 ，All the wildlife parks have already been completely fenced in。所有的野生动物公园已配备了完整的围栏。There are now 1,000 highly protected game reserves here。如今这儿有上千处高保护级别的野生动物保护区。And the number of top carnivores is steadily rising。食物。链顶端的食肉动物的数量也在稳定增长。But for wide-ranging predators like cheetah， 但对于活动范围超广的猎食者，猎豹 being fenced in poses a deadly problem。被圈起来却是个糟糕的麻烦。Cheetahs need vast territories to survive。猎豹需要有足够广袤的领地去求生存。The world's fastest land animal is mainly solitary。猎豹地球上最迅捷的陆地动物。基本是独立捕食。And must roam long distances to find a mate。漫游很长一段距离才有机会碰上同类。But when they're trapped in behind fences with their own families。但当他们与家人一起生活在围栏中。Inbreeding becomes the biggest threat to their survival。近亲繁殖就变成了他们生存下去最大的威胁。The only way to prevent this is by playing cupid with cheetahs。解决这难题的唯一方法是。为猎豹包配婚姻。Vincent Van Der Merwe from the Endangered Wildlife Trust。他是来自濒危野生动物保护组织的。Vincent Van Der Merwe runs what could be described as a cheetah dating agency。这是一家被称为猎豹婚介所的机构。These population are small。猎豹的数量不多。And inbreeding is a terrible thing in the long run。而且从长远来看。近亲繁殖是相当糟糕的选项。So it's not a natural thing, you know. 所以得做些包分配的事情，你懂的。We'd prefer natural dispersal. 在发展猎豹数量的问题上 ，natural migration between the populations. 我们当然不愿意干涉他们的自由。But South Africa is a highly developed country. 南非与非洲其他国家相比 ，compared to the rest of Africa， 已经是个相当发达的国家。And you know. We have to move them artificially. 所以有能力人工干预他们近亲繁殖。Vincent has come to Denikin Game Reserve to remove two males. Vincent 来到 Denikin 保护区要转移两只雄性猎豹。They're 18 months old. 他们都是十八月龄。And would normally have left their mother by now. 都已经不再需要母亲的关照。So these two males are related to the two females. 所以。得安排这两只性成熟的雄豹。And they're reaching sexual maturity now. 去结识别的雌豹了。So there is the possibility that inbreeding will take place. 这样就能解决猎豹族群近亲繁殖的难题。So it's important that we remove these two males to prevent inbreeding. 转移这两只雄豹就是为了预防它们会近亲繁殖。Before they can be moved. 在开始之前。The cheetah must be immobilized by wildlife vet Sean Beverly. 先由兽医。On Beverly, 将其麻醉。Let's just have a look and see. 让我们给他检查检查。I just want to check what these two do. 看看他们状态如何。Just reverse. 倒车。Stop here. 停。These animals are very sensitive to drugs. 动物们对麻醉药非常敏感。And there's a high risk of overdose or injury. 有相当高的风险会因药物过量致死致伤。Okay, I'm going to take it. Okay. 让我拿下它。Just watch the female. She's not happy at all about the vehicle. 注意看那只雌豹，它非常不高兴我们的车靠近。She's quite intent in protecting her. The young male. 这只雄豹似乎想要保护它。With an eye out for the angry mother. 留心他们生气的老妈。Sean carefully removes the first young male. Sean. 小心地搬动着这只小鲜肉。Ready. We're just going to pop him in here. 准备，我们要把它放进里边。By collecting DNA samples, Vincent creates a profile for each cheetah. Vincent 收集好 DNA 样本，为每只猎豹都建立了档案。And matches them up with unrelated females on other fenced reserves. 认真核对。
，并送去其他保护中心与非近亲的猎豹相会。OK, got some blood vials over there. OK， 血样标本放这儿。A single population on the small fenced reserve like this， 在一家小型保护中心围聚一只同源血脉 ，is not viable in the long term。从长期来看是不可行的。But 53 small populations on 53 reserves， 但五十三家保护中心就有五十三只血脉 ，are viable in the long term。If managed as a single population, 那就意味着是切实可行的方案。So we continuously have to move these cheetah. 所以，我们必须在这五十三家保护中心之间 ，between the fifty-three small fenced reserves， 不断安排转移这些猎豹 ，to ensure that they remain genetically viable， 使猎豹家族开枝散叶。Just support his neck here， 撑住他的脖子。You can put it in as deep as you can， 降低点把它放进去。And just grab him from the outside and drag him through， 从外头抓着他。拖进去。Just give him an antidote. 给他来点解毒剂。Far more comfortable once they're awake. 等清醒过来后，这会令他们舒服一些。Okay, let's go. Okay, 咱们走。Vincent has now moved 98 cheetah. Vincent 已经转移过九十八只猎豹。But alarmingly, one in five of them have died in the process. 但值得注意的是。有五分之一的猎豹在转移过程中死去。It's a terrible price to pay for conservation. 这是保护计划要付出的代价。A small box. It's a very, very confined space for a cheetah. 这小箱子对猎豹来说是非常非常狭小的空间。We don't like to keep them there too long. 我们也不喜欢让它们长时间待在里头。Unfortunately, some of the reserves are really far from each other. 可是。各保护中心相距非常远 ，and we have to move them over a day or two。我们不得不花上一两天的时间来转移它们。So we really fear for them。所以我们非常担心它们。And we lose a lot of cheetah because of chronic stress。害怕它们因承受不住而死去。The two brothers are traveling 100 miles to their new home。这两只熊豹乘车上百英里来到了新家。Sable Ranch。Where they will stay for the rest of their lives. 他们将会在此度过余生。Plenty of cheetah food over here. 这儿会有大量的猎物。These two young cheetah have survived their journey unscathed. 这两只小鲜肉毫发无损地度过转移之旅。They are doing 100%. Just a case of opening up now. 他们状态很好，开门放出来吧。Vincent will soon bring in a female, so they can start a family. Vincent 将会安排一只雌豹过来，让他们组建家庭。When their offspring have reached adulthood， 将来他们的子女们成年后 ，they'll need to be moved to another reserve， 将会被带到其他保护区。It's never-ending work。这是一项没有尽头的工作。There are now less than ten thousand cheetahs left。如今只剩不足一万只猎豹。South Africa is the only country where the population is growing。南非是唯一一个猎豹数量在增长的国家。Thanks to human intervention。感谢人类做出。But at what cost? 但是 Will all of Africa's wildlife end up living on fenced private reserves? 要让非洲的野生动物在围栏圈起的保护中心度过一生吗 ？I really think that this is going to be the future of conservation. 我认为这就是未来环境保护的发展形态。Because we're not going to find wide open spaces in Africa anymore. 因为我们在非洲实在找不出有足够宽广的野外空间。There's just too many people. Too much development. 这儿的人口日益增长，社会蓬勃发展。But we will find small fragments of natural habitat. 但我们还是能够找到小型的自然据点。Where we can reintroduce cheetah. 安排猎豹的生命续存。So this is really a way to increase the range of cheetah. 这确实是一个增加猎豹活动范围。To beef up their numbers. 提升数量的好方法。Because in the rest of Africa. Their numbers are going down. 因为在非洲其他国家，他们的数量一直在减少。There is at least one place left in Africa. 在非洲，你能找到有开阔野外空间的地方。Where you can still find wide open spaces. 只剩下这里了。Zambia. 赞比亚。With over 100,000 square miles of untamed wilderness. 这是一片十万平方英里的原始平原。Zambia is simply too large to fence in. 赞比亚实在太大。
难以用围栏圈起。One hunter needs this vast landscape more than any other. 有种猎食者比其他的猎手们更需要这片广袤大地。And it's the most endangered of all the predators on the plains. 而且也是在这平原中最濒危的食肉动物。The African wild dog. 非洲野犬。Wild dogs are highly social animals. 野犬是群居动物。Before hunting, they carry out a greeting ritual. 在开始捕猎前。他们会在一起玩耍 ，reinforcing bonds within the pack， 增强彼此的情感联系。They also care for their old and injured。他们也很关照老弱病残 ，making sure no dog goes hungry or gets left behind， 保证每只狗不被遗弃。不挨饿。But these greetings are becoming a rarity. 但这些人性般的道义正在变得稀有。Wild dogs have lost over 90% of their former range. 野犬们已经失去比以往少 90% 以上的活动区域。And there are now just 6,000 remaining in the whole of Africa. 整个非洲的野犬数量也就剩 6,000 只。Mike Bravo, go ahead. 请讲。Yeah, we have the hot springs pack just upstream. 好。我们发现有一群野犬在上游的温泉这边。Copy that. Going there right now. 明白，马上过去。It's five o'clock in the morning. 现在是早上五点。And a team from the Zambian Carnivore Program. 这是一支来自赞比亚食肉动物保护组织的小队。Are tracking a pack of wild dogs. 他们正在追踪一群非洲野犬。Their steady animals are getting caught. 他们发现。In the crossfire of a war with illegal poaching. 食肉动物们的安全正在遭受非法捕猎的威胁。And Thandiv and Henry are trying. To keep watch over them, Thandiv and Henry are working on protecting them. It's a huge area, and to look for animals like that in this vast area is like looking for a needle in a haystack. To find like wild dogs, a very fast animal, and worse still, these dogs are moving at really high speeds. The speed is like a needle in a haystack. To find like wild dogs, a very They're joined on their search by air support. 有空中支援下，他们一起搜寻野犬的踪迹。Team leader Dr. Matt Becker is spotting from above. 在飞机上的是领队 Matt Becker 博士 ，trying to work out which direction the dogs are heading. 他负责找出野犬们将要朝哪个方向去捕猎。Tango Mike, Tango Mike, Mike Bravo. 呼叫，呼叫。Mike Bravo, go ahead. 请讲。Yeah. We have the hot springs pack. 我们发现一群野犬，目测有十五只。Got a visual. All fifteen of them, just upstream from the Kalusi. 在 Kalusi 的上游方向。Copy that. We'll head there right now and try to keep up as best as we can. 明白。我们现在马上赶过去，并尽可能跟上他们。Okay. Sounds good. 好样的。Wild dog territory stretch over 600 square miles. 野犬的活动范围可达600平方英里。They're constantly on the move. 它们时刻保持着移动。So the scientists track them using radio collars. 所以科学家们会使用无线电发射器追踪它们。If you don't follow them on the ground for a couple of days. 假如你不紧紧跟着它们。You often have no idea where they may be. 几天时间就会不知所踪。So the quickest, easiest thing to do is get up in the air. 所以，最快速可靠的方法还是坐上飞机 and pick up the signal from a long ways away. 根据无线电信号发现它们 and then we'll radio those locations to our ground teams. 然后再通知地面小队赶往他们要出现的地点 who will come in with their Land Rovers. 他们开着车唱着歌 and follow the dogs on the ground. 在地面跟着野犬们 and collect all sorts of critical information on them. 并收集相关的重要资料 Mike Bravo, I copy that. 呼叫，呼叫 Do you have the location right now? 你发现他们的位置了吗 Yeah, I've got them. Eleven o'clock, moving in now. 看到他们了，在十一点钟方向。你们快去。Oh, that's great. Oh. 快看 ！The team observe the pack hunting almost every day. 这支小队几乎每天都在追踪、观察这群野犬们捕猎。Once they've selected their target, it's all about teamwork. 他们一旦选定目标，就会团队合作，拿下猎物。When they actually encounter wild beast or other prey, 当他们遇到有机会拿下的角马或其他猎物 ，you'll see them reacting to where the other dogs are running as well. 你会看到他们的头领会做出反应。
。其他狗会立刻跟上。They are very aware of what's going on. 他们非常清楚该如何做。And what their other pack members are doing. 以及团队伙伴们会怎么做。You know, they take down wildebeest. 你知道的。他们必须团队合作。That one dog can't possibly do by itself. 光靠个体力量是啃不下角马这硬骨头的。So through working together and helping each other out. 所以说，他们必须依靠团队力量。They're able to take down big animals like that. 才能够猎杀像角马这样大型的猎物。No matter how many times I see a wild dog hunt, it's always amazing. 无论我碰到过多少次野犬捕猎。这场面真的是百看不厌。The grace and speed of the dogs in a hunt. 野犬们在捕猎时展现出的速度与激情 is something that you can't get with any other species. 是其他动物远比不上的。There's nothing like wild dogs. 非洲野犬独一无二。And if we lose them, there will never be anything like them again. 假如它们灭绝了。不再有物种能像它们那般捕猎。The greatest threat to wild dogs comes from humans. 野犬们生命最大威胁是来自于人类。The dogs are getting caught in snares intended for other animals. 野犬们经常被人类设下的陷阱所害。尽管那是给其他动物所准备的。Zambia's growing population is creating a huge. 赞比亚的人口越来越多。And increasing demand for commercial bush meat. 人们对野味的需求日益增长。With poachers targeting species like gazelles. 偷猎羚羊等野味的活动屡禁不止。But snares are indiscriminate. 陷阱不长眼。And thousands of other animals are caught by accident. 成千上万的动物惨遭其害。With the dogs in constant danger. 野犬。们身处险象环生之地。The team keeps an eye on them in case they get caught in snares. 这组小队必须时刻关注他们，以免遭陷阱之祸。To follow the dogs, they need to collar only one animal. 要追踪野犬们，只需在一只野犬身上安装无线电项圈。As they normally stick together as a pack. 因为野犬们通常会一起行动。Once the dog is safely down. The team can slowly move in. 等野犬被马倒，队员们就能够靠近它。A lot of them are getting snared. 他们经常被陷阱抓住。And so, these radio collars enable us to get an animal. 这些项圈也能够帮助我们找到它们的位置。Find it and disnare it. 并帮它们除去陷阱。So, this collar may save this dog's life. 所以说。这种项圈不仅能救这只狗的命 ，It may save its brothers and sisters and other pack members， 还能挽救它的兄弟姐妹们的命。So once the pack member is down, the other dogs will stay in the area。因为一旦有团队成员倒下，其他野犬就会停下。As you can see, some in the background。正如你看到的。他们就在附近。So that makes it easier for the immobilized dog to join the group. 当这只野犬的药效过了之后 ，After the drugs wear off， 它又能回到队伍中。When he comes round, the young male is unsteady on his feet. 看起来这只小鲜肉的腿脚还有点不便。But he soon catches up with the rest of the pack. 但他很快就能赶上他的伙伴们。I think the best side of the whole darting. 我认为最理想的状态 is when the dog gets up and rejoins the pack. 是这只狗重新回归它的队伍中。It doesn't get any better than that. 没有比这更好的了。The team are searching for a pair of females that they're worried about. 这组小队正在搜寻。It's not unusual for females to leave the pack. 雌性野犬离开狗群去找别的熊狗 To look for new males 是很正常的事儿 But these two sisters have run into trouble. 但这两姐妹碰上了麻烦 A few weeks ago, we disnared one of the females. 数周前，我们为其中一只野犬除去陷阱 She had a snare around her waist. 她的脚腕被陷阱缠住 And was actually one of the worst we've ever seen. 其中一只脚已被夹断 If you look very closely. You can also see just where the wire was. 如果你仔细看，还能看到脚上的疤痕。Her sisters also got an injured back leg. 她的姐妹的后腿也有受伤。We can't see any open wounds at the moment. 现在我们是看不到有明显的外伤。But she's clearly not putting any weight on it at all. 但她完全不敢用那只腿走路。And that does not bode well for them. 这些对他们而言是不好的兆头。When it comes to hunting. Looking for food. They have not eaten for a while. 
Now, 看起来他们已经很久没进食了。They look very thin. 他们非常瘦弱。I don't think they have a good chance of survival. 我认为他们命不久矣。We will keep monitoring them and see how it goes. 我们会继续监测他们，看会发生些什么。It's going to be difficult. We might just end up picking up. 如果运气不好。我们也许会在接下来几周内 two empty collars in the next few weeks 找到并回收两只无主的项圈。Sadly, the snared female doesn't make it. 很不幸，从陷阱里救出的那只死狗 and is found dead a month later. 在一个月后被发现暴毙多日。But her sister manages to join another pack. 幸运的是。她的姐妹找到并加入了其他狗群。Matt's team works closely with anti-poaching patrols. Matt 的小组与赞比亚野生动物管理局 from the South Luangwa Conservation Society 以及来自 South Luangwa 保护协会的反偷猎巡逻队 and the Zambian Wildlife Authority 开展紧密的合作 looking for snares and searching vehicles for bushmeat and guns 共同搜寻和废除偷猎者的陷阱。以及车辆和枪支。But as always, the greatest weapon in the war against poaching， 对抗偷猎行为最佳的武器，依旧是。Is the next generation， 教育下一代。Henry speaks African dialect。你们几个，使用望远镜的方法错了，不是用单眼看。而是用两只眼一起看。This is Conservation Club。这是一个环境保护兴趣小组。Every week, Thandy and Henry take children on safari. Thandy 和 Henry 每周都会带孩子们来一次观兽旅行。So they can appreciate wildlife and the opportunities it brings. 孩子们能够领略野生动物带来的大自然之美。How many people have seen wild dogs before? 有多少人之前见过非洲野犬 ？They hunt in packs, of course. 首先，他们是成群行动。And they prefer to chase the animal down. 其次。他们喜欢追逐猎物。Probably the most important aspect of our work. 也许我们工作最重要的地方 is ensuring that the people that are most responsible for conservation 就是确保人们能够提起对保护野犬的责任感。Of wild dogs and wildlife in general are the Zambians themselves. 同时也能够认识到野生动物也是我们赞比亚人中的一员。Henry and Thandy are fantastic and are continuing. Henry 和 Thandy 很了不起。To help kids get engaged in wildlife conservation， 他们会继续帮助孩子们参与保护野生动物。For those of you that have never seen a snare before， 你们之前也许从没见过兽夹。This is what it looks like。这玩意儿长这样。The mechanism is so that it should tighten。这玩意儿的机制是 ，As the animal struggles to get away， 动物越挣扎。就会越紧。The best thing that can come out of this is a generation of people. 能教育给这代年轻人最好的事儿是 that are interested in wildlife. 让他们对野生动物感兴趣 regardless of what field they join later on. 无论将来他们选择什么职业 they could be teachers or bankers or whatever. 教师。银行家或什么其他的 ，but just environmentally minded people， 都希望他们是有环境保护意识的一代人。The animals are important because they are the sources of income。动物多样性是非常重要的。That can develop our Zambia, our nation。因为这也是我们国家发展重要的资源。When I grow up, I just want to teach people about wildlife。当我长大后。我想要教人们认识野生动物 ，just like Mr. Henry do， 就像 Henry 先生做的那样。Oceans cover over 70% of the planet。地球表面的 70% 是海水。This immense blue wilderness， 这片浩瀚宽广的蓝色荒漠 ，is home to the largest predator that's ever lived。居住着世上体型最大的猎食者 ，the blue whale， 蓝鲸 ，up to 30 meters long and weighing 200 tons， 长可达30米。重可达二百吨。Since commercial whaling was banned 30 years ago， 自从三十年前，全球开始禁止商业捕鲸。Off the coast of California， 除了在加利福尼亚海岸 ，its numbers have almost fully recovered。蓝鲸的数量已有显著的增长。But they face a new problem。这里的蓝鲸身处危境。Here， blue whales are feeding on krill。因为蓝鲸钟爱的食物。
林霞 ，in one of the world's busiest shipping lanes， 藏身于世上最繁忙的航道之中。Container ships plow through these waters 24 hours a day， 集装箱船每天二十四小时不间断的 heading in and out of Los Angeles， 通过这条航道进出洛杉矶。When the bow strikes a whale， it's usually fatal。如果大型船只撞击到鲸鱼。往往是鲸鱼以死收场。Some scientists have suggested that this could be one reason. 科学家们认为，这就是这里的蓝鲸数量。Why the blue whale population here is not increasing? 没有增长的原因之一。But proving it requires very challenging research. 要证明这一观点，需要做一些有挑战性的工作。So we'll go through the area where we've had the sightings. 我们不断监控着这条繁忙的航道。And it looks like both those whales moved last night. 昨晚似乎出现了两条蓝鲸。To the shipping lanes, right in that zone. 在这个区域。On the MS Shearwater in LA Harbor. 洛杉矶港口的服饰蓝河梗旁。A team of marine biologists are heading out to hunt for blue whales. 一队海洋生物学家正准备出海搜寻蓝鲸。Their mission is to investigate the impacts of ship strike. 他们的任务是研究集装箱船给鲸鱼带来的影响。I think we'll have a chance at this angle. 我们可以在鲸鱼。It looks like he's back into. 重新回到。到深处进行旅行模式前 ，a little bit more of a traveling mode， 创造机会为他装上追踪器。John c a l l u m b a c h i t i s from Cascadia Research. John c a l l u m b a c h i t i s 事实上 ，is the world's top expert on blue whales， 顶尖的蓝鲸专家 ，and has been studying them for 29 years。他从事这行有二十九年了。I first became aware of the ship strike issue in 2007。我是在二零零七年开始注意到船只撞击问题。When we had at least four blue whales that were struck， 在那个时候。数月内至少有四只蓝鲸在加州南部。And killed by ships just in Southern California in a few months period。被来往的重型船只给撞死。The port of Los Angeles, Long Beach。洛杉矶港口。Is the largest shipping complex in the United States。是各类船只进出最密集的地方。Container traffic here has increased tenfold in the last thirty years。集装箱船数量在过去三十年增长了十倍不止。This spot right here probably。Has. 这块地方大概是 some of the densest concentration of ships 进出洛杉矶港的 that will funnel through here, coming into Los Angeles, Long Beach. 各类船只穿梭最密集的地方 This also, right here, is a canyon. 同时，这个海峡周边 that has quite a bit of krill for blue whales to feed on. 聚集有大量磷虾。这是蓝鲸的食物 and we've often got concentrations of blue whales. 所以。我们经常能在这块区域 right in this same area 发现聚集着蓝鲸。John is tagging a number of whales. John 使用追踪器标记了大量的蓝鲸 to see how they respond to the ships. 看他们是如何躲避船只。Right now. We have a whale that's in the shipping lane. 我们刚刚发现有一只鲸鱼出现在航道上。So we're going to try to take this opportunity. 现在我们要抓住时机。To put a tag on this whale. 去给它装上追踪器。Monitor both what it's doing and get the reaction of the whale. 看看船只与鲸鱼是如何对彼此做出反应。Deploying a suction cup tag requires precision timing. 安装追踪器需要一个恰当的时机。This first critical. Point till you figure out what a whale's doing. 最重要一点是时刻注意鲸鱼的动向。It's very easy to lose it. 因为很容易跟丢它。Right now, there's a little bit of pressure. 现在。我有点儿小担心。He may come up again here. 他可能会在这出现。Yep, here he comes. 是的，他来了。All right, let's go. 大伙儿上。Coming up. 来了。Okay, nice job there. Okay. 干得好。So. That's attached with a suction cup. 我们给它装上了个吸盘式追踪器。We hope it will stay on. 我们希望这追踪器 for something of the order of a few hours 能够坚持上几小时。These modern-day whalers with high-tech harpoons, 如今的捕鲸船会根据鲸鱼的习惯 are hunting for new information about the whale's behavior. 使用高科技的捕鱼工具 and why they don't simply swim out of harm's way. 这就是为什么鲸鱼们现在很少浮出水。Blue whales don't seem to respond very strongly to the ship presence. 蓝鲸似乎对船只的出现。
并没有太大的反应。You think about a long ship. 你知道的。The engine of that ship that's generating the noise. 这种大型船只引擎的轰鸣。And the propeller are all the way at the far end. 以及螺旋桨卷起的浪波都是很大的。What might be of danger to the blue whale? 这些因素会对三百米范围内的蓝鲸。Might be three hundred meters in front of that. 可能会有比较危险的影响。The tags reveal how much time the whales spend in the shipping lanes. 追踪器可以显示出蓝鲸出现在航道上的次数。Especially at night. 尤其是在夜间。The first thing that's rather surprising. 首先。比较令人吃惊的是 ，is that the whale crosses the shipping lanes twice. 这条蓝鲸两次穿越航道。And we see that the blue whales are spending. 其次，我们看到这条蓝鲸在夜间浮出了水面。About twice as much of their time at night near the surface. 大概有两次。Where they will be vulnerable to being struck by a ship. 与白天相比。这会使他们更易受到。Compared to the daytime. 船只撞击。John is now working with the authorities. John, 如今在为政府工作。To try to divert the shipping lanes and slow the vessels down. 试着提出更改航道和减少通行船只数量的方案。All sides are keen to find a solution. 各方都应积极找出一个解决办法。And allow the whales to feed in peace. 确保蓝鲸可以平安的觅食。The polar regions are the least inhabited. 极地地区是地球上最偏远。And the most remote wildernesses on Earth. 也是最荒凉的地。Here in the Arctic, the top predator is the polar bear. 北极熊，北极顶尖的猎食者。Over almost half a million years, these bears have adapted to. 历经五十万年，北极熊已经适应了。The Arctic's dramatic annual changes of season. 北极严酷的季节交替。They're the only predators to hunt on sea ice. 他们是浮冰上唯一的猎食者。And they rely on it for almost. All of their prey. They rely on the ice for their food supply. But the ice is getting thinner. But due to changes in the global climate, the ice is getting thinner. But due to changes in the global climate, the ice is getting thinner. But due to changes in the global climate, the ice is getting thinner. But due to changes in the global climate, the ice is You need hard evidence. 坚实的证据表明这个情况正在发生。And there's one team of scientists. 有一组科学家在过去的三十年里 ，who've been collecting that evidence for the last thirty years. 一直在收集相关的证据。What is that? 那是什么 ？It might be a swan. 可能是指天鹅。Oh, just this side of the ridge. Yeah. 哦、oh, ，就在山脊的这一侧。是的呀。In West Hudson Bay in Northern Canada， 在加拿大北部的西哈德逊湾 ，Government biologists are carrying out。生物学家们正在进行一项 The world's longest study on polar bears。对北极熊的长期跟踪研究项目。Oh, there's a bear right below me. Holy smokes！ 看，有只北极熊就在我们下方。I think if I was going to do the sky, I'd try to get on his left。就是他了。先把它驱离这里 ，and just push up onto this ridge here。赶往山脊方向。If we get him on this ridge, I think we're laughing。假如我们能把它弄上去，我做梦都会笑醒。The scientists are like health visitors for bears。科学家们要为北极熊们做身体检查 ，checking the pulse of the local population， 以研究短冬对熊数量的影响。For Dr. Evan Richardson。Summer is the perfect time to call. 对 Evan Richardson 博士来说，夏天是检查的最佳时刻。As the bears are resting on land right now, 北极熊现都在陆地上休养生息 ，living off their stored fat reserves, waiting for the sea ice. 他们依靠储存的脂肪生存。To come back in the fall, in November and December, 耐心等待着十一。十二月份海面上浮冰再现。It really gives us a good opportunity. 这就为我们提供了一个来此研究统计。To come and study this particular population of bears. 北极熊数量的好机会。The bears need to be immobilized. 北极熊必须得先麻醉好。Before the biologists can get to work. 生物学家才能上前工作。I'll just keep pushing him in the direction he's headed now. Okay. 我要尽量在熊的正上方使用麻醉枪。Doctor Nick Lund's team has darted over 5,000 bears. Nick Lund 博士的团队自项目开立起 ，since the project first started， 给北极熊至少做过五千次检查。That bear is going into the water. 那只熊要被赶进水里了。It's a place they consider safe.
They head out to sea. 这不是个合适的地方。他们太靠近海面了。And we don't want to be darting him in the water. 我们可不想把他麻在水里。So we need to move him back out where we can get a safe shot. 所以我们得让他回头。And have him go down on the land. 要找个合适的地方再把他麻倒。Though it's stressful for the individuals in the short term. 在短期来看。我们的行为对这些北极熊来说有些影响。This research could help save the entire species in the long term. 但从长远来说，这些研究可以帮助拯救整个物种。Once the dart is in, 当麻醉标记中后 ，the crew wait at a safe distance until the bear is down. 队员们必须在北极熊完全失去力量前。保持安全的距离。They must be extremely cautious when leaving the helicopter. 离开直升飞机后，他们必须小心谨慎。Working around polar bear country, one always has to be vigilant. 在北极熊生活的国度，必须时刻保持警惕。And aware that there are other bears around. 注意附近的其他北极熊。They're curious. They're going to come in. 他们好奇心强，会想要上前看看。We have firearms. As a protective measure, just in case of an incident, we have firearms. 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 In case of an incident, we have We'll take fat samples. We'll take a few standard measurements. Head length, 343. So now, we're going to get a straight line body length of this bear. Now, let's get his body length. His canines are one. Tooth wear is one. His teeth are perfect. By updating their health records each year, their health records will be updated annually. The team can keep an eye on this bear's condition. Scientists will be watching the condition of this bear's condition. The number is 016. His ID is 016. Typically, male bears would be. Generally, in the size range. Larger than this particular individual. The size of the bear's population will be larger than that. So the bears are actually shorter. 按标准来说，这些北极熊明显比较小只。Smaller than they used to be in the 1980s and 1990s. 比上世纪八十、九十年代的要瘦小一些。We believe it's probably related to nutritional stress. 我们相信这与捕食期缩短。猎物缩减而导致的营养下降 ，and the population and reduced access to food 有相当大的关联。The bears are going hungry. 这些北极熊总是饥肠辘辘的 ，because the winters here have become warmer and shorter. 因为这儿的冬天气温越来越暖，时长越来越短 ，and the summers longer and hotter. 而夏天是又长又热。The bears need to see ice as a platform to hunt their prey. 北极熊需要在浮冰上猎食 ，to travel. They made out on the sea ice, 以及寻觅伴侣 But we see sea ice breaking up. 但我们看到浮冰会在两周半到三周之前 Around two and a half to three weeks earlier, 开始裂开 And forming around two and a half to three weeks later, 然后重新组成新的浮冰块 So the bears have less time to feed. 所以北极熊能够捕食的时间非常不足 They're thinner. They don't have the same amount of fat on their bodies. 他们更瘦了 We are seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, declines in cubs' survival. We are also seeing fewer cubs being produced, On average, 科学家们已经能够证明，百分之二十 smaller than when their study first started. 北极熊的体型
。总体来说，比赛研究项目开始时要瘦小百分之二十。If the loss of ice continues， 如果浮冰持续时间越来越短 ，the polar bear will gradually become extinct。那么北极熊将逐渐走向灭绝。Climate change is happening fairly rapidly。气候转换正在变得越来越快。So even though these bears are really good at fasting， 尽管这些北极熊变得很能耐饿 ，and living off their body reserves and going long periods without food。能够长期不进食。What we're seeing is we're starting to push these bears. 但正如我们看到的，人类造成的气候变暖正使北极熊 to their physiological limits 走向他们身体的极限。And as they're pushed to the limits of their body reserves， 假如这种情况继续维持下去 ，obviously that has implications for their survival。很明显。这将会对它们的生存产生极大的影响。More than any other predator， 与其他大多数猎食者相比 ，the polar bear has evolved to cope。北极熊已能够适应。With dramatic changes in the Arctic seasons， 北极这种极端的季节变化。But with the current pace of climate change， 但似乎北极熊适应的速度 ，the bears simply cannot adapt fast enough， 远赶不上气候变化的脚步。If polar bears are to survive， 北极熊。生存下去的关键 ，We will all have to play our part， 在于我们每个人都应承担自己的责任。Doctor U L L A S K R A N D。If people do smart things， 假如人类放聪明些 ，like different ways of producing energy， 用些环保的方式制造能源 ，I think we will have room for large predators。我认为我们会给广大的猎食者们创造出足够的生存空间 ，as well as people living really well。同时，我们的生活也会变得更好。John c a l l u m b a k i t i s If humans are going to survive on this earth， 如果人类想要继续在地球上生存下去 ，and do so in harmony with other species， 就得学会与其他物种和谐共存。We're going to have to find a more sustainable way to live than we do。我们必须找出一条可持续发展的道路。And a lot of that is going to have to involve。同时，我们也得想方设法降低 lower levels of consumption， 能源的消耗。We have to accept the fact that 我们必须。面对这样的现实 ，We can just blindly go on the trajectory we're currently on。不能再按现今的模式走下去 ，And expect things to work out well。还盲目的期待事情会变好起来。We've got to make changes。我们必须要有所行动。Craig Packer。We need to start thinking about the ways. 我们自身需要开始思考 The whole world can contribute. 做些什么事情能够使世界变得更美好 These precious animals belong to all of us. 全人类都有责任保护珍稀动物 These are a world resource. 它们也是地球的一份子 And the world as a whole should guard these animals against poachers. 举全人类之力。帮助他们解决居的问题，以及抵御偷猎者。Habitat loss and protect them into the future。有他们的自然世界才是美好的人类家园。If we can save the planet's most charismatic predators。假如我们不去挽救这些独具特色的猎食者。What hope is there for the rest of the natural world？ 自然世界中其他的生物又有何希望呢 ？Wildlife has the power to recover。野生动物有能力自给自足。And people have the power to change。人类有能力给他们创造条件。What happens next depends on us。看你的了，朋友。